Alright guys, this Let's Play is gonna be really, really short, cause it's actually a Let's Play of a DOS game. I used to play when I was a little kid, it's some Bible game, I don't even remember where we found it, but it'll be nice and cheesy. So I found it on um, an abandoned ware site, so I thought I'd download it and play it again. Here's a story. You are Onesimus, slave of Philemon. For months you have planned your escape from slavery. It is freedom you want. You can think of nothing else. One day while Philemon is away, you seize your opportunity. Stealing money from your master's house, you break away, fleeing towards Rome. First you must escape slave quarters, sneak through Philemon's house without arousing suspicion, blah 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 blah. So, alright. Free at last, make your way to Rome. Yeah, we're gonna find the Apostle Paul. So pretty much this game is based off the book of Philemon in the Bible. It's one of the really, really super short books in the New Testament. Pretty much that entire book is Paul um, addressing Philemon about Onesimus who ran away but found him in Rome and now became a Christian. So that that's pretty much what this game is kind of about. So, let's see, they have this thing for hot tips. We know, inst I know how to play this game. It's, let's try the tips. In order to master obstacles you will face, you need to know about certain secret weapons, bonus objects, secret control keys. You may obtain information by calling the toll-free number between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Wow, this was back in the day when they had, like, Hotlines for games, man. Makes me feel old. So you have to register the game by phone. They'll tell you secrets. You need to master the game. Well, honestly, this game is really not that hard. It, and it's not long either. It takes about an hour to beat. And I've never actually got everything in the game, but it's not necessary, so... Alright, so here we are, Zonissima's door's locked, we need a key. Of course, they keep the keys in dungeons where there's flooded water, and that sound effect you get when you get keys is the dumbest sound effect in the world. I don't know why they even chose that. Alright. So we flipped that switch, that should open the door that was over here, down here. Got another key, and here's some Bible from Paul in jail for preaching the good news about Jesus Christ, and from Brother Timothy to Philemon, our much-loved fellow worker, and to the church that meets in your home, and Archippus who, like myself, is the soldier of the cross. Yeah, this is, they pretty much have little spurts of Philemon throughout the your gameplay. So it, it kind of tells you what's been going on with Onesimus and them and Paul and stuff. So apparently there's multimedia bonus stuff above the slave quarters. And there's another thing up there. I never figured out how to get it, but I don't really care. Apples give you health. Oh really? There's a key. Another key, apple. This game actually has pretty decent music. There's a few tracks that I really enjoy. I didn't know they had elevators in Bible times. And I can't get out there for some reason. But I won't concern myself with it. Need four keys to escape. I like how this game tells you what, how to play. May God, our Father and Lord Jesus Christ, give us blessings and his peace. Okay. World map. Philemon's estate. Yay, we escape. Now we're going into the forest. The forests of Colossae. I like the sound, the music in this level. It's kind of cool. Alright, I don't want to touch that blue thing. Oh, and yeah, I have a knife now. Oh, come on. Knife is a weapon, and 
it totally acts like a boomerang. Kinda weird. Aw, oh, come on, let me up on that vine. I want to get there, finally. Apples. Hanging off the tree. Mm, come up here to get the rest of these. Yes, this is a bonus. Thank you for telling me. Oh, frogs. I hate frogs. They're so annoying. They like to... Dude, get away from me, you frog. I'm all... I always thank God when I am praying for you, dear Philemon, because I keep hearing of your love and trust in Lord Jesus and his people. Okay. Oh, yeah. Stage number four, and we still have frogs. Go away. Stupid frogs. That was the shortest stage ever. Stage number five now already. Wow. Ugh, oh, what are the frogs doing in the tree? Stupid tree frogs. Get away. Gladiators tree fort. Okay. We'll touch the flag at six points. And yeah. We gotta go inside to get something there. See, these switches activate those sold um, armors. If their spears are down, then you get hurt and die when you touch them. Alright. And I pray that as you share your faith with the others, it will grip their lives too as they see the wealth of good things in you that come from Christ Jesus. Onishimas enters the world map. So we got out of the forest. And we're gonna have to come up here to a couple stages. Oh, we'll come back to the desert later. Here's a, another stage up here I'll get first. The plains. There's nothing else up here, yeah. We wander into the plains. Ooh, a rock. Rock is a better weapon than the knife. Because the rock actually hits stuff on the ground. And I had absolutely no idea rocks in the Bible bounce around like crazy. We're gonna want to enter this cave. Watch out for those swirling blue things. And we got some springs. Which give us extra jumping power, which is cool. Cause jumping high is awesome. And wow, wow, alligator. Kill it with a rock. One rock can kill an alligator. We learned that from the Bible. Well not really, we learned that from this game. Doing now I want to ask a favor of you. I could demand it of you in the name of Christ because it is the right thing for you to do, but I love you and prefer to just ask you. I, Paul, an old man here in jail for the shit, the sake of Jesus Christ. Yeah, pretty much what Paul does in Philemon is write to Philemon about not being mad that on this image ran away. And to accept him, go up. Well, thanks. I would have never guessed that on my own. Because this game is so incredibly hard. Ouch. Ooh, alligator on the bridge. But yeah, that's pretty much what the entire book of Philemon is. Just Paul addressing the uh, issue of Onishima's running away. And he's like, okay, well, if he hasn't, ne if he'd never run away from you, he wouldn't become a Christian, so don't be too mad at him. I never got why those eyes like to stare at Onesimus. Oh, birds. Birds are annoying. See, well, you can you kill them. 
You kill them when you hit them. How does that work? My plea is that you show kindness to my child in this demon, whom I went to the Lord while here in my chains. Yeah, Paul's in jail at the time of him writing this. Or house arrest or something. One of those things. Okay, now we can go to the desert. And can't get up there. Oh great, more birds. But my boomerang knife of um throwing this, she'll take care of them. Yeah, I can't reach that either. Nope, can't get it. So I will just ignore it and move on my way. Oh, I totally missed. I like how the weapons just fly all over the place. When you like move around. It's craziness. Oh, a frog. Ha! 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 <laughs> Oh, I should have went the other way. Oh, another, aha. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Jeez. Why are frogs so annoying? Alright. I myself have gained much joy and comfort from your love, my brother, because... Your kindness has so often refreshed the hearts of God's people. Alright. I can't get up there. So I guess I leave the stage. And I went through those two levels because I needed to collect those gems in order to uh, open up that passage right there. As you can see I need three, I only have two, so I need to go into the caves to get these. This stage sounds like some kind of rock thing. Oh, slugs. I hate slow worms. Ugh, ugh. Rats. Knife is stuck down there. Okay. Let's try. Oh, come on. Fine. Because I am like dying. I don't want to die just yet. Closer. Good, I need it. Onesimus, whose name means useful, hasn't been of much use to you in the past, but now he's going to be of real use to both of us. Oh, great, I got a rock. Oh, shoot, that ant caught me off guard. And those spikes will definitely kill you in one hit if you touch them. So no touchy. Alright, yeah, I don't think knives can kill slugs, only rocks can for some reason. And we enter the world map. So now we can pass through since we had all three gems. We're in the castle now. Oh, and I, I like the laid back music of this stage too. Ew, Lord Bats. Oh. Gotcha. These weapons are so weird.
Yeah, that that guy moves only pass by when his spear is down. Uh, worms, bats, annoyances. Gotcha. Ugh. Move worm. Ah, uh, fine, whatever. Ooh, good to get a rock a better weapon. Your feeble attempt fails. That's funny. Alright. There is actually a secret down there. I'm gonna get this stuff up here first. Drop down here. Be careful, cause if you jump into the water, it's an automatic death. And there's that secret. So we'll just go back down. I'll go down the other way. Alright. <laughs> Psych. Game thinks he's funny. Anyways. Goodness, what's with all the bats and stuff inside of a castle? Is this Dracula's place? Alright, so... We're outside the castle. Oh, and, uh... Careful with those little rocks, because as you can see, throwing the stone destroys them. And that little worm just was... Doing the little worm dance in midair. Come on, there we go. Onesimus has a wicked curve shot. I am sending Onesimus back to you, and with him comes my own heart. Cool. <laughs> 